Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. We are going to be making a delicious summer squash and corn chowder. It does not take long to cook and it is absolutely fantastic. Tastes like summer. It uses fresh corn on the cob and fresh summer squash straight from your garden or your farm stand. You are gonna love this recipe, I guarantee it, so stay tuned. First thing we need to do is we need to get our corn off the cob. Once you have your corn off the cob, it needs to be about two pounds, which I have it in two separate containers and I'll show you why. Um, this is two cups and this is three cups. So it ends up being about five cups of fresh corn or you can use frozen. I'm not gonna, you know, call the fresh police if you do not use fresh corn on the cob. I have already fried up a half a pound of bacon. So I've got that sitting for on the top later with cheese and some green onion that's gonna be so spectacular. And I still have my pan over here, let me show you, that has a tablespoon left of the um, bacon grease in it and all the crispy bits. That is all flavor in there, so you do not want to wash your pan. You want to pick up all those crispy bits. And we're gonna start sauteing our leeks and our celery. If you do not have leeks, that's fine. You can use green onion and just chop a half cup of green onion instead of the leek. No big deal. So we're gonna get that going. And we're gonna saute this about eight minutes. We are gonna want this to cook down quite a bit. And our two pounds of squash. This squash is going to end up half this size, so don't get scared um, with that. Getting all that brown up from the bottom. Perfect. While that's cooking over on the stove, we are going to start this next process. It's a little bit different than other soups that I make. Um, I'm usually not into pureed soups whatsoever. Um, I like chunks and I like to chew, but this one has a slight puree in it and that's okay. So we are gonna put three cups of corn in our food processor. It's like, what in the world? You can use a blender here too. And then about a cup of your milk in. And we want that to be pretty smooth. Let's see what that looks like. That's got a little ways to go. Well, you know what? We're gonna add our thyme, two teaspoons of thyme, about a half teaspoon of salt. We can always add more salt later. And then about a quarter, oh, actually, no, it should be like a teaspoon because I'm doubling my recipe. So about a teaspoon of salt and about a half teaspoon of pepper. But again, you can still always add these later. Now, if you used your blender, especially if you have one of those nice Vitamixes or a good, um, a good uh, Ninja, you might be able to get it really smooth. I'm not fully into really smooth, so I'm totally cool with it having some chunks. Now, remember, we also have still our two cups on reserve of corn that has not been tampered with. Okay, how are we doing here? We're starting to saute. Now I'm using my amazing all clad D5 pan. Um, it's huge. This may look like a regular fr fry pan, but it is not. It is fine to make soup in. Uh, but for someone who doesn't have this large of a pan, you um, probably will want to, after this point, transfer it to your soup pot or stock pot. We've really cooked down, but we still have some, you know, pieces like right here and here. And this still needs to cook down quite a bit more. It's time to add our puree. Get that incorporated, and then we're gonna put the rest of our milk in. We're gonna let this cook a couple minutes, and then we're gonna add our other corn and let it cook. Okay, so you see, don't be afraid when you see this top layer. This is what you mashed up, okay? And it will rise to the top. 
Now, had I pureed it all the way, I may not have this problem, but this is how I do it every time. And you just get that kind of separation and that's, it's fine. You just stir it back in. Once the corn is done, it's ready. Um, when I look at the squash, the squash looks, looks done. Yeah, it's done. I think it's perfect and light. Not a lot of salt. I'd rather people be able to add their salt at the table if they want. Nice, sweet flavor. So fresh. This just tastes fresh. We are going to plate this or bowl this deliciousness up and give it a try. And some of the best parts of this are the fact that you get to add all your goodies. So let's add some goodies. Okay, we'll put a little cheese in there first. A little bit of bacon. And then some green onions. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous! All right, let's give it a try. I wanna make sure to get a little cheese, some bacon, some green onion, squash, get everything in my bite. Those flavors go so well together, having the sweet corn with the bacon and cheese and the green onions. Absolutely spectacular. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below and I would love to hear from you with a thumbs up or a comment. Have a great day.